it is said, and I'm going to jump forward a bit, the original click in the WWF was you, Roddy, Adrian Adonis, and Bob Orton. I don't know if that's something that's been retroactively ascribed to you as the original click in respect to Shawn Michaels, Kevin Nash, etc., all those. Would you say you were sort of like the the band, the group in the WWF in the mid-'80s? And were there anyone else sort of uh, members of that group? Oh, gosh, I don't know. I... Well, we never, uh, you know, we were... He and he and Bob were he and Bob were together. Uh, Bob was like his bodyguard, and um, oh Adrian, Adrian is Adrian and I were close from Florida, where he was, it was Keith Franks, and um, wrestled down there. I don't know if we were. I, I, I we never, you know, we never manipulated any office offices or anything like that. Roddy had had his programs that he was. Uh, that he was selling to Vince and I had my own things and you know, everybody had their own, uh, pretty much uh, Adrian, you know, broke off into his, his where he was going. So I, I don't know if we were, I guess I mean, people may have called it that. I, we were, we're all close friends. I, I don't think we manipulated or worked at, you know, like the Nash and Hall and those guys did theirs. But, uh, no, but as far as like a, a close group of friends, forget about the office, but like as a close group of friends, you were sort of like the core group. Yeah, possibly, you know, it was, it was, the, it was the formative days of uh, Vince uh, Jr. just to taking over from senior. So, you know, like we're going to the, the onset of TNT and WrestleMania and all those uh all those, all those uh, events that are taking place. So I, I don't, uh, you know, I've been a core of the, the house shows and the TV shows, but uh, you know, it was not WrestleMania so much. Uh, what Piper, state of? Oh, sorry. Part? Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say uh, Roddy Piper because uh, I was going to ask for some fun uh, stories between uh, within your group, but Piper has said on. Uh, quite a few occasions, like the weirdest one was in Fresno. And I don't know if you were part of that group. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I don't even need to say anymore. You've got to tell us the story. <clears throat> Jim Neidhart's wife was in from Calgary or for Florida. I, I don't remember where they're, they're living. Very nice lady, you know, and um, we'd gone out to get a meal after the matches. So, you know... Figuring a guy's wife is there and everybody was on their best behavior. So, you know, and, and I, I I don't know how it snowballed into, you know, a, a, a drunken uh, fall down, you know, drunk, well, when nobody's falling down, into a drunken, drunken mess. But, you know, it started with tequila and kamikazes and everything else. And then, then we left the, then we left the restaurant and got stuck on the train and uh, railroad tracks. And got out, you know, managed to get out and got back to, got back to the hotel and the police and everybody was involved. Somebody they knocked on Bob's door and went in and I, bet, ah, ah, and I guess they shot him with a with a taser and he took it out and threw it. <laughs> and then, you know, and then we all met in the lobby and kind of cleared everything up and that was it. And then the next morning. Uh, Went down to the police department. Next morning was in the front page of USA Today, the national paper. So, yeah, it was. Uh, I don't know how some of those things happened. <laughs> well, I know how they it fell out of a bottle. You know, it's just uh, we were young and uh, adventurous. Say, so. uh, Piper ascribed it to two things. Uh, the one thing really was that you uh, you all went to a restaurant, and they were giving you free tequila. It could be very well, could be the truth. Yeah. Do you remember why he was arrested? It was, it was, either it was either free or, or, or we, were, we were paying for it, but there was a uh, flowing like wine. <laughs> Do you remember why Piper was arrested instead of the naked Bob Orton? Was Piper arrested? Piper says he or said he was arrested, and Paul Orndorff ended up bailing about the next morning. Well, I, I I knew we had to go down to the police department the next the next day and make you know he took some t-shirts down and pictures and autographs and the whole nine you know 
I, I didn't realize he was he'd been arrested. Uh, I hope I'm not speaking out of school, but I believe he said he was in the drunk tank for a few hours. And I think Paul Orndorff, or, or, uh, Paul Orndorff was the one who uh, came to get him out. Okay, uh, you know. Well. It, well, it was a good night then. If you don't remember it, it must have been a really good oh, night. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was a great night. <laughs> Do you remember any other stories similar? Because Piper always, te- always told that one when he was asked, like, what's a crazy story? And it was always that one. So do you remember any sort of similar escapades during that time frame? Well, I haven't prepared myself. I know a funny thing happened the next time we came into Fresno, though. We went to, uh, we just ran off to get taxi cabs. We didn't, didn't go by the rental car, but John Studd, John Studd went to rent a car. They refused him. He went nuts. <laughs> I'm not I'm independent. No, I'm sorry. We're not running cars to wrestlers. And then that was, uh, we could have just put their head down and ran out the door. Mm-hmm.